What's up guys, Sakshmiya and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are having an amazing day. Had a great day. So today we're taking a look at the G-Drive mobile USB-C hard drive. Now this video is not like an in-depth review of this hard drive. I just got it today. So this is more like an unboxing slash what you can expect, what's in the box, maybe the speeds also. We can do a speed test towards the end. But also, just like if you're going to buy this drive, you're just comparing this with something else, which stuff you're getting, all that kind of stuff. So now without wasting any more time, let's go straight into unboxing this. the waves cut through me hypnotized by the sounds i'm breathing in hold tight also before we just start I do want to say I will definitely be making a full on in-depth review about this hard drive so it's a great idea to press the subscribe button and the bell icon that you get notified when I come out with that video. This particular version we are going to be looking at is a 4TB version but it comes in 1TB and 2TB as well. So as you can see the box looks simple just like all G drive boxes it says space or the size it is on the top right corner with the speeds expected speeds which is 135 megabits per second and if you look at the bottom left corner we can see this drive does have a three year warranty by one drive a usb-c cable and a usb-a cable provided with this so now actually let's open or unbox the hard drive i'm just going to make a cut at the back bottom a nice tab and just cross that let's lift that off i just made a you, you have not seen that video yet but it's regarding a power bank that i bought um that was most like the most complicated unboxing i ever done like this one tab you slice off but then nothing would come off so you really have to tear the whole thing apart so it's always nice to have like simple unboxing experience like nothing too complicated so taking the hard drive out as you will expect it from any g drive product it's just perfectly packed out it looks beautiful it looks i mean Honestly, all I can say is amazing uh, with that plastic wrapper, plastic, I think it's just a plastic piece on top, um, white plastic at the bottom holding the hard drive and all its components. You can just lift off and there is the hard drive. Take the hard drive out with those indents and as you can see, because this is a 4 terabyte version hard drive, it is quite thick. Uh, if you do end up buying a 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte versions, they are really slim. So. Uh, I would say they're just slim as an SSD, so you can't really find much of a difference. Moving forward, let's just keep the hard drive on the side. And if you look in the box, we have a sticker. I won't say a sticker, just like a cardboard piece. Just saying, uh, if you want to set this up, hard drive with the Windows computer, how to do that. Moving forward, the limited warranty card or just the papers work for that. And then just a quick start guide, just going that over quickly. It says it has a, or the components of the box. You got the G hard drive itself, USB-C to USB-C and USB-A to USB-C just seeing the steps how to connect the hard drives and all that kind of stuff which we won't need keeping all that apart now let's look at the cables we have the usb-c to usb-a and usb-c to usb-c there was one complaint that i had with my g drive ssc so this thing this is a really awesome hard drive no complaints with that but uh, the complaint was that they gave a really small cable with it it's a usb-c to usb-c sure it's a high uh, high output cable like you can transfer up to 10 gigabytes uh, of data with that but still it was just too tiny and i can see like it's a much bigger cable so let's take it out and just comparing this cable so you can see that comparing that with this it's much better to have a bigger cable and i really love that now for the hard drive itself it's not that heavy uh honestly i would say i can really relate this to my iphone like almost the size almost the weight of my iphone this just feels a bit lighter and if you're at the back you can see it's usb 3.1 4 terabytes and all that kind of stuff that they usually put as information or the about the product information on the back nothing else there's a usb c indicator on the side or more on one of the edges where you can connect this hard drive along with on the left side a led indicator to show when the drive is actually on like showing its on status and all that kind of stuff now this was really like there's just the unboxing there isn't much that comes with these hard drives let's really just do a speed test and just see how much um speed you get with this so you get that 135 mb it's still up to 135 mb but just let's see so just connecting the hard drive and the cable i'm not sure if the mic can actually capture this let's see if it can that sound right there is like the you just want to hear that sound every time you connect a device just because it shows how good the connector is how strong it is going to be so i can actually hang this 
right from a USB and I, I, I'm not going to be worrying about just losing a part, falling down, all that kind of stuff. So to me, it's not a flimsy, like just a random cable thrown into it. So the LED indicator is on as soon as the drive is on. I can feel the drive spinning. So because this is a hard drive, you do have that disk spinning inside compared to an SSD. So the first thing that gets mounted onto the computer is the G Utilities folder. So this is a folder that does contain instructions, but along with that, it also contains like the, if you are installing this hard drive on Windows, so that kind of stuff. So this is, that's what I'm feeling like the vault of it uh, even though I haven't really read the manual and if you go at the bottom the G drive mobile USB C this is the actual hard drive and now let's just do a quick space check we do have four terabytes available it is four terabytes uh, format Mac OS extended uh, now just putting it out there I usually if I know a drive for example my SSD and even this drive going to be I know I'm always every it doesn't matter what i will always be using this on my mac and that's why i actually changed the format to apfs which is the apple file system format and personally from what i noticed it just works a bit more better it's just a bit more faster even though if you just look at speeds and stuff you'll be like it's not that fast it's just with my workflow and everything just feel having the apple file system it's just a bit more faster now obviously if i leave the test on uh, from what I've noticed, the numbers will trend to go a bit more higher than what we can see. But I actually want to do a test at 5 gigabytes and see if I see any difference. So again, make sure the drive is selected, open and start. So again, not a big difference, you're still in the range of 111 to 110. And honestly, if I'm looking at this, I'm happy with the speeds I'm getting because if I compare this with my other drives, it's way faster and obviously like you can never compare a hard drive with the SSD. SSDs are always faster. Like I get about 500 to 600 megabytes per second on my SSD. Again by G drive. So it's like it depends what you're working off. Now, as I said I will definitely be making an in-depth review about this hard drive. Why I bought it exactly. Uh, obviously I'm not really editing like 1080p or 4k videos of this. I got my SSD and my MacBook SSD for that. So if you have any questions like maybe you're planning to buy a hard drive. You're just confused whether it could pick from one drive or let's see that was my decision before I actually bought this. Or how the, how the performance is feel free to leave a comment below make sure to press the subscribe button and the bell notification that way you get notified because as i said i will definitely be doing an in-depth review of the starter very soon so you don't want to miss that apart from that thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video see here's the thing i can see it's about 22 minutes video already done and as when you're going to see this it will be like about 10 minutes maximum you have to go take thumbnail before the sun sets down and this is the first time i'm actually not using a main light on my face it's just natural daylight with a back key, uh, more like a kicker light so i'm not sure how well this is going to turn off but let's see let me know how, how do you like this setup or my um backdrop setup so let me know what you think and yeah, thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Section5J because I do lots of stuff up there too. So